What's going on, all you movie lover badasses out there? Fat Samurai Guy is here, and yes, today is the day, well, the month, the weekend, <laughs> where I have turned the big 4-0. That's right, 40. That's right, it's over. It's over. I'm, I'm just gonna fucking jump. I regret nothing! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the big 40. That's right. So I'm gonna hang on with some friends, play some games, maybe catch a flick, getting ready to get my hair cut done, and have a good time over this weekend of me growing up, getting old, getting ready to go in the mall right now, might buy some games, some movies, might splurge on myself, that's right, might splurge on myself, fuck it, it's my birthday, I'm gonna do the damn thing. So come, cometh, hang out with the old samurai, cause we have a good time, peace. All right, guys, got the cut, you know what I'm saying? Feeling kind of fucking metal. That's right. Fresh and so clean metal version. That's right. Now it's time to get some booze. All right, got the booze, got a couple of extra goodies I'll show you a little bit later, but it's time to catch a flick, you know what I'm saying? I have not seen a Dragon Ball Z film in the movie theater, so the newest one is out with Brawly's Return. I'm going to go really quick, try to catch it before it starts, but I'm a big DBZ fan. I have not followed DBZ Super. I've seen the first two movies. Uh, but I am behind. Now, I might be a little lost, but I think at the end of the day, it's Dragon Ball Z, so I don't think it's going to be that complicated. But yeah, I'm ready for some badassity abound. So, whew, time to go see that movie. Let's do it. Kamehameha, motherfuckers. All right, guys, I just got out of the theater from seeing Dragon Ball Super Broly, and it was fucking badass. It was fucking badass, man. Very enjoyable. I'm not going to do a review because <laughs> I want to enjoy my day. I want to enjoy my day, damn it. But we'll let you guys know if you're a DBZ fan, DB Super fan, okay, this is like a must-see, a must-watch, especially while you can... Uh, if you can, try to see it in theater. The sound, oh man, the hits during all the fight sequences, you felt it in the theater. The soundtrack of the movie was great. The animation was beautiful. And, uh, it, you know, the, the story was pretty good. It was pretty pretty well done. And I didn't expect to feel for Brawly, you know, because they kind of make him, kind of build him up as if he's the new villain. But uh, it's kind of fucked up. I got a, I got a big uh, Star Trek uh, The Wrath of Khan vibe. Uh, with Brawly, basically him getting fucked over as a ch as a child, getting banished to a planet, um, to where like the one of the worst planets ever, and he has to fend for himself. But now, grown adult Brawly comes back, not to ruin anything, and uh, the shit goes down. And of course, you know, Freeze has got a lot to do with this. So a lot of fun, just just really good action sequences for an animated movie, and it was cool. It was a, it was a, it was a really cool treat for me. To see a Dragon Ball Z film, uh, Dragon Ball film, uh, in the theater, in the movie theater, on the big screen. It was pretty cool, so highly recommend you guys check that out. So as I mentioned before, I had to give me a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? I had to splurge on myself, you know what I'm saying? It is my birthday, I gotta splurge on myself, so I got a few things. Alright, let me get the crap out of the way. Because <laughs> I love watching good movies, and then sometimes I do get a kick and have fun watching some bad movies. So we got two potentially bad films. Hopefully these are good bad movies or good low budget films, hopefully, and they're not painful shit and I want to kill myself movies. Uh, but first up we have, I'm not sure if this is a remake or what, but there was an old movie came out in 1977 called The Car. And it was ridiculous. It's one of the most absurd things I've ever seen, but there were two cool, uh, badass, awesome moments in that film. I have to give that movie credit. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is a remake or a sequel, but we have <laughs> The Car Road to Revenge. 
Unrated version. Yes. Got this real cheap. Might be fun. And this one looks really low budget, but I had to buy it just out of principle because of the cast. So hopefully it's a, it's a decent low budget film. But, but look at this. Death House. Almost, it's almost like the Expendables, but for horror icons. <laughs> so we have fucking Kane Hodder, Bill Mosley, D. Wallace, and Egg. I mean, freaking uh, Adrian Barbeau, Barbara Crampton. I mean, there's, there's tons in here. Don't know what it's about. <laughs> Don't know anything about it, but had to buy it for cheap. So hopefully they're fun, low-budget uh, B films. And you know I had to get me some metal. I had to get me some music, man. So I got High on Fire, Electric Messiah. And I got dying fetuses, wrong one to fuck with. Yeah, so I'll be headbanging to this on the way home. And last but not least, I got some steel books. So one of my favorite comic book artists of all time, Alex Ross, did the artwork for the classic Universal Monsters uh, film releases on steel book. I mean, the artwork is just beautiful. So we have the original Frankenstein right here. Look at that artwork. It's amazing. And artwork for The Mummy is also amazing as well. So I had to get both of those Steelbook Blu-rays and $9.99. $9.99. Cheap. Cheap as fuck at FYE. And now the highlight of the day in terms of Steelbooks. Fight Club. Look at this. Look at that. That is fucking badass. Look at that. And check out the back. Yeah. Check that out. It's fucking dope. Yeah. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So had to pick that up. Right now I'm about to go home, eat some grub, drink some booze. That's right, so stay tuned. All right, my girl Lay Fat Blood just got home from work and brought home the coolest birthday cake ever. Check it out. Zoom in on that song. Look at this badass tear. Jason, that's right, represent. Yeah. Got the blood frosting. That's how we do it. That's how we do the damn thing. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Mwah! All right. Birthday gift time. Got a lot of gifts over here. I'm just going to show you really quick. Might get some more later. I don't know. And an unboxing birthday box gift that uh, Retro Leo gave me in uh, Lady Fab Blood for the month of January for our birthday month because it is also Lady Fab Blood's birthday month as well. So, first up... I got in the mail from one of my favorite DVD commentating and novelists for martial arts in Hong Kong cinema, Mr. Bay Logan. All right, his newest book, Bruce Lee and I. I got that in the mail uh, not too long ago, and I can't wait to read it and check it out. Make sure you guys support everything Bay Logan. And inside, he addressed it to me with his autograph, which he didn't have to do, which I thought was really dope. So, woohoo! Got that. Next up, from the Sexy Sumo, he knows what I like. Actually, his daughter picked this out, too, so props to Annabelle, you rock. But the newest Halloween fig, that's right, from the film that came out last year. Check it out inside. Look at the detail. Woohoo! Looks badass. Looks awesome. I'm loving it. Got to hang it up. Oh, yeah. Next up, from Germany, Mr. Nina Lusik. That's right. I apologize if I said your name wrong. <laughs> but he has sent me, for some strange reason, not only is it hard to get this movie in DVD, my uh, buddy from the UK, Jamie Powell, sent me a DVD copy a long time ago. Thank you, Jamie. But I still wanted it on Blu-ray. But for some reason, this movie just never was released here in the States. I don't know why. But Mark DeCasco's fans out there, I have the uncut version of Crying Freeman. Oh, yeah. In Blu-ray. And this is actually, uh, even though he sent this uh, from Germany uh, to me, it's actually all region. In case you guys are curious, this is all region. So, picture looks beautiful, special features. Thank you, Mr. Nenit. And speaking of Mr. Jamie Powell, he's back sending us good things because he's awesome. This ridiculously awesome badass Evil Dead 2 4K Blu-ray book. That's right. Look at this. Look at Look at the artwork. Look at this awesomeness. Look at the badassity. Yes. Look at that. Look at that in the back. Yes. And there's awesome artwork on the inside. So once again, thank you, 
Jamie, for this birthday gift. You rock. I'll swallow your soul. I'll swallow your soul. I'll swallow your soul. I'll swallow your soul. <laughs> now we're going to do a quick unboxing. Yes, Mr. Retro <laughs> Leo. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Whew, don't know what's in here. There might be some goodies in here for Lady Fab Blood also. So we'll see. All right, guys, we're heading out to a place called Retro Vault Arcade. Hopefully it's badass. I haven't been there before. We're going to meet some of the crew members out there, play some games, do the damn thing. Stay tuned. Do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. Come on now, just like that. What's going on, all you badasses out there? I'm here What's with up? my homie, Big Mike. That's right. We got the Red Bull. That's right. What do you got down there, sir? What do you got with the oh, extras? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, this is after. You go get oh, in yeah. and drink and see? That, that's it. That's how you play. That's what we do. doing. <laughs> on our way to Retrovolt Arcade. See you guys in a bit. What are you looking forward to playing? Uh, I need the classic Punisher, stuff. Ninja Turtles, <laughs> NBA Jam. No, I'm talking about classic. Right? You, you're going to go retro. You got to go classic. Got to go centipede. You got to go Dr. asteroids. Astro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out Batman. when we get. We'll find out when we get in there. See you guys in there. Oh, got, I know. It's even worse. Special guest has joined us today. We got the cranky credit. Get in here. Toughest Joe. <laughs> there you Are go. Doing stomach to stomach. <laughs> I think I won. I think I won there. We got Mr. Bat Twenty Four SS. That's right. With the Stranger Things shirt and show him, show him, show him the, the, the instructions. The instructions, right there. Oh yes. Nice. Yeah. We're nerds. Okay, it's fun. All right, come on in What's there. Up, What's up, man? Y'all know who this is? <laughs> Sexy Sumo. Kim celebrating my birthday Yo. today, <laughs> and the lovely queen is in the back. Yeah, like I don't want this on YouTube. I'm kill you! I'm gonna kill you, Fat Sam. Oh, you're a dead man. All right, let's go in. Let's do it.
O'Geal, son. <laughs> That's right. Look at the reflexes. Look at the reflexes. We got Lady Fat Blood and Fat Ninja on the House of the Dead. Son, look at that. Woohoo! Oh, two balls. I got two balls. Oh, Your board was impressive. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Skate or die, bro. What? Oh, wow. Got Atari. That's crazy. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, somebody knows. <laughs> somebody knows. Alright guys, that's the end of today's out and about video, birthday vlog, if you will. I'm sorry for my little tipsy right now. I drunk uh, a little bit too much of a Blue Moons, <laughs> so I'm a little bit of, woo, I kind of lost count of how much I drank, so uh, yeah. Thanks again for hanging out with uh, me and the crew, and uh, we did have a really good time at Retrovolt Arcade. It was awesome, it was like being back in the 80s again, and uh, we got some grub after that. And I came back, had some cake, watched some NXT, got to get some wrestling in, and uh, drunk some more Blue Moon. Yeah, so <laughs> had a good time. Uh, thank you, all you out there on the, those social medias, that's right, uh, for wishing me a happy birthday. You guys fucking rock. And right around the time I'm about to wrap things up, I get a message from this guy. Happy birthday. Dear Samurai, happy birthday, don't get it in your eye, happy birthday, dear Samurai, I love you, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brendan, I really appreciate that, and make sure you guys check out Mr. Wet Movie One's channel, make sure you subscribe, awesome stuff, and again, cheers to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe! <laughs> Check this out! We got tons and tons and tons with what looks like Lady Death cards from the classic 90s comic book series. Lady Death. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yes! That's going to be dope. Look at, that. Look at all these. Gotta love me some Lady Death. All right, holy crap. All right, we're gonna quickly go through this. <laughs> There's a lot here. So we got a lot of good stuff here. So we have a film called Premonition. Memoirs of Murder. I heard this was a good movie. Korean film right here. I heard this was pretty good. So gotta check that out. Oh, Bishanmu. That's right. I do own this one, but this is still badass. It's always great to have another copy right here. Korean fantasy action film right here. Bad Guy. Not sure about this one. Looks like a pretty interesting thriller we have here. Got to check this one out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Mr. Leo didn't know what this film is. He just probably put it in here. <laughs> um, Babe? We are now the owners of Visitor Q. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Yeah, so, uh, uh -oh. yeah, we, we are the owners of this this controversial, insane movie. That, and yeah, we got it for free. Thank you, Leo, for this one. <laughs> 
And of course, a classic old school DVD, Ichi the Killer. Cult classic, Takashi Miike. Love this movie. Very entertaining. Mamari? Something? Might have some category three uh, <laughs> softcore drama movie. I'm not, sure. I'm not sure about this one. Gonna check it out. 2046, a Wong Kar Wai film. Not sure about this one, but I do know the actors that's in here. Tony Lung is in this film. Looks like a drama, maybe thriller. Gotta check that one out. One Car Y makes good films. Spy Girl. Looks like we got a little action comedy right here. All right. This one looks interesting. Check out that cover. Abnormal Beauty. Look at that. Abnormal Beauty. Interesting. Looks like a thriller right here. Oh, martial arts fantasy flick, Twins Effect 2. Yes. I have only seen parts of this film. I think the only great good thing about it is Donnie Yen and Jackie Chan have another fight. So if you miss their fight that they had in, in Shanghai Nights, they do have a, a little bit of a rematch in this one. They do have a, they do fight again. So that's enough for me to, to own the movie. So. Shanghai Nights. <laughs> Not related to Shanghai Nights, but they do, they do throw down in here. So, woohoo, thank you. You have Jang Hu here. Not too sure about this one. Looks like another thriller. Classic J-horror film right here. Juwan the Grudge. That's right. Now, back in the day, I... I <laughs> back in the day, I missed out. I, I kind of missed the hype. So when I saw it later, I was like, you know what? You know, it, it was entertaining. I did enjoy it. But I think it was a, a little bit overhyped for its time. Um, but... I did appreciate this a lot more after I watched the fucking bullshit remake. So, thank you, America, for that. Classic movie, cult classic. I've been wanting to show Lady Fatblood this for a long time. 2LDK. This is good shit right here. Good shit. Low budget. Two girls together. I know this is going to sound like something else. <laughs> but a slight... They're both college girls in a slight kind of friendship. Mostly not 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 good friends, but kind of just like we're living together. Let's try to get along. Goes horribly wrong, yeah, horribly wrong, and it, it ends up becoming a little badass thriller in its own right. So, gotta show her this film. Looks like we have a period piece Jackie Chan saga film right here. Might be interesting. I forgot the real title for this. I forgot the title, but I have not seen this. So, looking forward to that. Next up, we have JSA. Joint security area. Uh, looks like maybe a police or military thriller, maybe. But I'm excited to see this because I just realized my boy here is on the cover right here. Byung Hung Lee. That guy is fantastic. He is an amazing actor. He's just really, really, really great. So check this out. Japanese cult classic film right here versus. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen this film. Okay. This is zombies shooting guns. We got katana swords, martial arts. It's a good time. One of our favorites, me, Lady Fat Blood, Fat Ninjas, favorites, Samurai Fiction. Yes. Great movie. Really, really great film. Not sure about this one. Can't show what's on the back. <laughs> but uh, I'll definitely check it out. Holy oh, boy. shit. Oh, boy. This was a tough watch. Very, very, very good movie, very well-made movie, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to frustrate you. And you're going to get angry, <laughs> especially with the ending. You're going to be, or kind of, you know, well, the film's told in reverse. Uh, but it's still a fantastically made film, well acted, but whew, it's, it's frustrating. But very well done. Irreversible, starring Monica Belushi and Vincent Cassell is in here. Crazy thriller. Very crazy, but uh, very well made. Ooh, check this shit out. Special uncut edition of... On Bok Tai Warrior, that's right, the movie that started it all. Made me a huge Tony Jaw fan and changed the game in terms of martial arts cinema. And I like this fucking dope cover. This cover is dope. All right, don't know anything about this one? Unrated version, Suicide Club. Not sure about this one right here. Looks interesting. All right, another very good, very well-made uh, samurai drama here called The Hidden Blade. Really enjoyed that one. All right, I can't show this. Because <laughs> YouTube rules. But Eat the Schoolgirl. Yes. From the back, it kind of looks like it's possibly a horror film. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's all you're going to see. Sorry. Oh, this is another of Lady Fab Blood's favorites right here. Thai action film, Born to Fight. Very well done. 
and really enjoyed that one. Another Korean classic right here, Musa the Warrior. This is dope. This is very, very good. Highly recommend you guys check this one out. Not sure what this one is. Uh, can't read the title, sorry. <laughs> but uh, eh, might be a romantic drama series or a couple of movies, not sure. Uh, Choi Hark's fantasy drama Seven Swords. I don't own this movie, so it's very cool that I have it now. And I love Donnie Yen's fight in the hallway. Another another Donnie Yen fight in the hallway. <laughs> Badass scene. But that's my favorite fight of this film. But Seven Swords, and I love that cover. I love that cover. Check that out. All right, we have the brown bunny. Not oh, sure. Oh, what? boy. What? Oh, Jesus. What, what's the brown bunny? What's wrong? Oh, Jesus what's, Christ. What's wrong with the brown bunny? Oh. <laughs> Blowjob movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The brown bunny, everyone. One of the most boring-ass fucking movies, and all of a sudden, you surprise blowjob. Okay. Like, no, no. Porn style. Porn style blowjob. Porn style. Like, legit, it's an actual blow. Like, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Like, like Chloe Savini got in trouble for it. Oh. Like, yeah, she got shit from the Screen Actors Guild or some shit like that. Right. It was literally pornography. And now we own it. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. All right. Sky high. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Looks like a martial arts fantasy film. That's right. Go check that out. The Princess Blade. I believe Donnie did the fight choreography for this film, so there. There is not a lot of fighting in it, but the the fights that are there are actually very well done. It's a Twilight Samurai uh, starring our favorite, one of our favorite actors, Henry Sonata. That's right, from Japan. Very good samurai drama film. Good stuff. All right, so we have the Twins Effect 2, but here is the first Twins Effect. Both films aren't related, but I believe... Ekin Chang, all you Ekin Chang fans out there. If there's any Ekin Chang fans out there, but uh, we are big fans of Anthony Wong. We love us some Anthony Wong, but uh, I believe it's Fantasy Vampire movie right here. All right, we got a film from Beat, Mr. Takashi Kitano, Dolls. Not sure about this one, but he's a great filmmaker, so willing to check that out. So I have seen The Departed. I enjoy The Departed. I love The Departed. But The Departed is actually a remake of a Hong Kong film called Infernal Affairs. And I've always wanted to go back and watch the original it was based off of. So now, this is awesome, I can check out the original. So, woo -hoo. Got the first grudge, got the second grudge right here. We have Millennium Mambo right here. Looks like a nice little drama right here we got going. Not sure about this one, looks like a thriller. Does have Aaron Kwok in here, so he's always cool. Divergence. Got to check this one out. And the classic, speaking of Beat Takeshi, we have his take and his version of playing the Zatoichi character. So, a lot of fun. Good movie right here. Very underrated Jackie Chan film. New police story. Good stuff in this one. Highly enjoyed that one. Okay. Um, I remember <laughs> there was some buzz about this film that came out a while back ago on MTV. Volcano High was a film that was very popular and uh, I never seen it, but all I remember was that I wanted to watch it on MTV. And then when I watched it on MTV, I heard Snoop Dogg. I heard Snoop Dogg, not the music, speaking. <laughs> so, for some reason, I don't know because of the popularity of the Wu-Tang Clan, but that's the Wu-Tang Clan. Leave the Wu-Tang Clan alone. But Volcano High is dubbed by Method Man, Snoop Dogg, Tracy Morgan... Big Boy, and Andre 3000. Volcano hizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess uh, we'll find out. Maybe I'll do a review of it. Oh, we. Uh, Lady Fat Blood did enjoy this film. Early movie by Angelina Jolie. Gia, biography film. Classic thriller from Nicolas Cage, 8mm. Very good movie. Very intense. Enjoyed that one. Have you heard of this movie? Whoa. I, I, never, I never heard of this. Whoa. And the movie that put Rush Hour's fight sequences to shame, gorgeous <laughs> a romantic action comedy that he went back to Hong Kong to make after Rush Hour. And, uh, yeah, you can see the difference in the quality of action. All right, looks like horror. You got horror. We have the I-10. Have to check that out. Didn't know there were 10 of these. All right, looks like we have another drama here, Days of Being Wild, starring Leslie Chung, Maggie Chung, <laughs> Jackie Chung, Andy Lau, the classic actors and actresses from the 80s. 
uh, well-loved Days of Being Wild. Another lost, forgotten gem that was awesome when it came out for its time and everyone's forgotten about it, but I still enjoy the film. We have Sin City. Still enjoy this movie even today. Have you heard of this one? I never heard of this one. Is Danny Glover in this? Freedom! And we have Will Smith's I, Robot. Getting jiggy with it. Uh, Big Willie style. Wow, wow, Wes. Wow, wow, Wes. Come on. Let's go. Uh, Iggy the Jiggy Wiggy, Mrs. Piggy. <laughs> 